Hello again guys, sort of an interesting video for you DIY types today. I'm gonna to be looking at something that's not actually a product you can buy, but a kit that you can buy and assemble yourself, or you can technically even make it from parts that you make yourself. This is the DIY Selfie Bot from Endurance Robots. You can of course head on over to their site to check out the complete list of parts and you can get the STL files you want to download to print all of this out. I'm just going to go ahead and admit it. This video has been about a month and a half in the making because it took a while for this to get here and when it arrived it was broken. That's why you may be able to see right here around the, the midsection there's a bit of a lighter area. That's because I had to super glue it right here in between and use some duct tape to hold it together for about a day so it would properly go back together. That's one of the things about 3D printing that is still a bit of a limitation. There are some weak components, but it is together now and I have sort of tested it a little bit. But this is what they sent me and basically the selfie bot is what you would expect. It's a robot that helps with facial tracking to help you take better selfies and do better facial video. This is a prototype. This is a very early style thing, but the whole idea of it is basically you'd have one set up in your kitchen, you'd have one in your office, telepresence type stuff, and you just put your device in there and it could track a face so that you could keep talking to your family, you could talk to your friends, you could perform business meetings and everything without having to hold the phone and move it around. Is it practical? I don't know. The selfie kits are available over on their website. You can buy the entire thing. I think it's about 200 bucks or you can just buy some of the components for less than that. I don't know all the specifics, but feel free to check out their website. And without any further ado, let me go ahead and just plug it in and we will see what it can do. Now, obviously, as you can see from the holder here, this is intended to be used with a tablet, but I found in my little experimentation with it, it does not work with Android Marshmallow yet, the software they provide. So I'm using an older device and offhand I didn't have any Lollipop or earlier tablets. So I got the Droid Turbo. Now when you first power this on, this is what it's gonna do. So it resets itself, it calibrates itself. This is where I'm supposed to be kind of thing. You may also notice mine's a, a little bit off kilter, partially because of the, the break in the middle. So it's not gonna be perfectly straight. Looks like the little status LED does not work. It's a prototype. It's a first run at something. When this does come up, it has a Bluetooth module inside of it. I think it also has a Wi-Fi module that you can connect to this paired device. It's just HC06 and the pin code is 1234. And then you run the SelfieBot app that they've actually provided. And from there, I'm gonna go ahead and take a second and stick this inside of the selfie bot holder and just clamp it into place. And I'm going to click on face tracking bot. There's also options to connect it over Bluetooth or over the internet or just do a demo. We may check the demo here in a second, but I've tried the face tracking bot and it does work. So we'll connect to this HC06 and let's see what it does. And there it is. And you can see it is moving on its own. I'm not touching it hands-free. If I move around, it sort of fixes itself slowly. And it's a little wobbly. The base, I think, got a little warped in the printing process or in the something. So it's got some warps in it down here that's causing it to kind of be off balance. You may be able to see that. I'll move the camera around so you can. There, hopefully you can see a little bit better now. But yeah, as you can see there, as I move my face around, you can sort of see that it's tracking me. Okay, so just a very quick demo there. It does appear to be working sort of. If we go back to the SelfieBot Droid app, let's see what the demo version does. All right, it's just kind of spinning itself around now. And back. And it's doing it apparently by just pressing the buttons on the screen. If you tap the button, like in this case, it appears to be backward, but if you tap it, it goes in that direction. So there you go. And realistically, I'm not that much of a hardware guy. I'm not that big into DIY. I'm still learning a lot myself, but I thought this was a very interesting project, a very interesting company. And I wanted to kind of show you guys, their whole goal is to get people doing robotics. Their whole goal is to get people to learn. I can honestly say I learned a little bit about electronics by setting all this up. And I'd probably learn a lot more if I take out these screws in the bottom and take this bottom plate off. But for the time being, I think it was a fun little experiment. Thanks to Endurance Robots for sending this out for me to take a look at. Thanks to you guys for watching. Of course, links to Endurance Robots website and the guide and everything can be found down in the video description if you're interested in checking their stuff out. And like I said, all the components for this, there's 3D models you can download, there's pieces and parts, and it lets you know exactly what you need to have to make this happen if you're interested in making something like this. So check out the links down below if you're interested. But thank you guys as always for watching. Leave a thumbs up down below if you like this video subscribe to receive more and I will see you again next time.